Marquis, how you doing? I'm good, man. How are you? Uh, good. Uh, I was just kind of curious. Uh, how weird is it in the spring where you guys are almost outnumbered by the as players by the coaches? Uh, and just what have you been able to to do this spring to get better when you don't really have a full roster around you? I mean, it's not really weird. Um, we still get better. Me, Ish, the coaching staff, we are still getting better uh, each and every day. It doesn't matter how many people are here. We still stick into, you know, our normal routine. Um, and we just, you know, play in the waiting, waiting game. And eventually we'll have enough pieces to where we could do some team activities. But the grind don't stop. Um, we still working. We still doing everything that we need to do. And uh, just watching on social media, it looks like uh, you and Ish both have been pretty involved in the in the recruiting process. Um, is that something kind of kind of new for you? Is that something that Coach Tang and the staff have have encouraged you to do to to be more engaged, perhaps than in the past? Um, this is actually my choice. I wanted to be involved in the recruiting because I wanted to play along guys that you know I could trust and who could trust me. Um, right away so it's been a fun process it's been a it's been a good process um, we we got a couple guys um, off the off the strength of me ish and you know all the all the other coaches but um, it's been fun um, to, to say the least it's been fun recruiting it's been fun just being a part of you know this whole rebuilding process Speaking of which, did you ever imagine that two years or whatever it was when you when you got here a year ago that that you kind of be starting from from scratch like this? And has it been a been a fun challenge? Yeah, it's been a fun challenge, but you know, uh, my visions is not God's vision. So whatever He wants to happen will happen, and that's how I live my day on a daily basis. So whatever I expected coming into this year, um, He didn't have planned for me. So. Um, it's going to, I know eventually it'll all work itself out. Um, we have the guys that we need to win. I trust Coach Tang. I trust, you know, everybody on the coaching staff. So, you know, I, I, I have high hopes and I, I hope y'all do too. Thanks. Appreciate it. Uh, we'll go with uh, D. Scott. Hey, man, how you doing? My man, how you doing? I'm good. I'm good, man. Um, now that the dust is kind of settled, can you just put in the words what the last two months have been like and just the excitement that you feel being on the ground floor of the Jerome Tang era at Kansas State? Man, it's been fun, man. You know, we got a group of coaches who are, you know, genuine, who are hardworking, probably one of the hardest working coaching staff that I've been a part of. And you know, they just made me feel at home. Um, nothing really changed, but, you know, we just continue to keep working, continue to keep, you know, helping each other, building building this program back up. And, yeah, man, it's it's been it's been a fun journey. It hasn't been, you know, devastating or, you know, de depressing. It's been, it's been a fun one. What have you learned from Coach Tang? What have you learned maybe about him that obviously you didn't know the first time you met him? Um, he has a winning mindset. Um, the first couple of days he, he came in here, he, it, I picked up a couple of his, you know, quotes and stuff like that, but his mindset to, to certain things is just unremarkable, man. Um, one of, one of his quotes was when he first came in here ever, he was in a weight room and, um, we was working out and you know how the teams, uh, break the huddle and go one, two, three you know, break or whatever the case may be. He said, he came into the huddle, he said, all right, this is what we're going to do. We're going to say three, two, one, win. And I'm like, I was thinking, I'm like, why is he saying that? He was like, because we, we're never going to be number number three in anything. We're going to be number one. And that really stuck with me. I'm like, okay, this guy really wants to win. So, <laughs> What has today been like for you? Uh, can you walk us through maybe your schedule and uh, – if, if that's kind of different from your typical day? Um, it's been, you know, finals week's been crazy. I got all my finals done. Um, but now it's just wake up, uh, come to the gym, talk to the coaches, see what they're doing, um, work out, do my 
through my weight training, through my basketball training, and do treatment. And I stick to that routine each and every day for five days out of the week. Are you doing cat backers this coming week? I am. I'm actually am. All right. I'll see you there. Thanks so much. See you there, D. Scott. That's my guy right there. Um, Kellis, you're up next. Yeah. Hey, Marquise. Uh, just what was your reaction when you saw nine of your teammates leave? Um, I kind of expected it. Um, it. It wasn't much of a reaction. It was more of a, you know, we got to move forward. Um, I, I knew I was going to stay here. I knew me and Ish was going to stay here. So we had to do everything in our power to, you know, focus on what's in front of us and not what's behind us. So. Is there anything Coach Tang has preached with you so far that he wants you to improve on next season or be a little bit different player? Um, it just preaches, you know, consistency, uh, winning the day, winning each and every drill, just continue to keep being me. And that's what I love about him the most because he preaches, you know, be you, whoever you are, be you, uh, win a day. And over a long span of time, then you'll see the, the results. And that's what I really like about Coach Tang. Can you also walk me through uh, what kind of a official visit is like on your end when you're hosting a recruit? What all are you doing with these guys? Yeah, we're just going out to eat, having fun, you know, talking about certain experiences that we each shared or, you know, certain experiences that they shared. And um, we'll take them to the gym, shoot, you know, just be around them, show them love, um, show them as much love as we can and make them feel at home. Um, we don't try to, you know, convince anybody, um, but we just try to be ourselves and whoever, you know, feel the genuineness behind that um, will commit. So that's really it. All right. Thanks, Marquise. Good to talk to you again. Yeah. Uh, go ahead with Michael. Hey, Marquise, what kind of uh, value have you uh, found from the interactions that you've gotten with the incoming recruits that have come on board already? Um, I noticed that, you know, everybody that, that is committed, that came from other places, had the same mindset as me, and that's to get better and win. So, you know, that's a huge part of what this team is trying to rebuild and do. Um, you know, we got guys like Cam Carter who sat out um, much, of, much of his season last year, and he just wants to come in and work. And Jarrell Carter, same thing. He sat out and wants to come in and work. So all these guys just want to come in and get better, you know, leave, the, leave their egos aside. And, you know, that that's – a a huge part of of where we need to be right now. And have you picked up on any other of uh, Coach Tang's quotes that you want to share with us that you've used quite often? Um, I think about that. I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's got one, but I can't think of anything right now. Um, but he has a lot, man. He has a lot of gems. He has a lot of quotes. Um, and he's a very good person, man. I love him. And what's the pressure of finals week compared to the pressure of a last minute on the basketball floor? Man, finals week is tough, man. You don't pass that last test. You don't know where you're going to be. But <laughs> thank God I had good grades, so I was in a good position. How many finals did you have? Five. Five finals, man. Couple papers I had to write, you know, a couple tests I had to take, but I'm glad I'm all done now. I could just, you know, focus on basketball and basketball only. And fundamentally speaking, what's your number one focus for the offseason for the summer? Um, getting some players here. That's that's probably priority number one, and then just focusing on my health and you know adding little things to my game. I'm just trying to get better each and every day as much as I can. So, all right, Marquis, appreciate it. Yeah, uh, Glenn, you jump in. Hey, Marquis, I wanted to ask you played for you know two different coaches at K State. Now, what what would you say is the biggest difference or uh, adjustment, I guess, uh, from playing for Bruce Weber versus 
you haven't played a game for Jerome Tang yet, but being in his system? Um, the biggest difference between Coach Weber and, and Coach Tang is um, – Dang, you really put me on the spot right now, Glenn. That's a very good question. I haven't played much. I haven't, you know, really been around and played a game under Coach Jerome Tang. So, but they're very similar in both ways. You know, they want to win. You know, they're passionate about, you know, K-State basketball and the culture here. Um, they, they are two hard workers that, you know, I've – I can't even imagine like coaches working as hard and, you know, they, they are very good people. They, they want to win. They want to help, uh, you know, people out. They want to help, you know, K-State community out. And I can't find much of a difference, but if I can say one is just, you know, one is more up to par to, um, to the culture and to, you know, my community than, than the other one. So. And uh, obviously, Tang and his coaching staff kind of decided to start from scratch from a roster standpoint. You and Ish were kind of the two guys they decided they wanted to keep and to build around. What does that mean to you, just that they made the decision? Uh, there wasn't many guys they decided to keep around, but you were one of the guys they said they wanted to make sure that you stayed at Kansas State. Yeah, man. It was – they, they, they would have had to do a lot to, to take me off this team because, you know, I was, I was trying to stay, so – you know, when Coach Tang said he was evaluating and, and seeing who he wanted to stage, you know, I was I was probably – me and Ish was probably one of the hardest working, you know, combos there was. So, it's been it's been great, you know, to see that – that sorry, I apologize, y'all. My niece is calling me. She must miss me. Um, but, yeah, uh, it's – oh, my gosh. It's been, it's, been a, it's been a crazy journey so far. And, you know, we just got to keep rebuilding, keep getting better. And then uh, what was your reaction to Nigel Pack deciding to transfer away? Were, were you surprised by that? Did it catch you off guard? And then he obviously got quite the, uh, the NIL deal. Uh, what, just what were your, your thoughts or emotions on that situation? Um, I kind of knew it was up in the air. Um, I didn't know if he would stay or if, if he would leave. But once he entered the transfer portal, I knew it was no coming back. I knew that, you know, Nigel wanted to see other options. Um, I'm super, super, you know, proud of him and the decision he made. Um, there's no love loss between me and him or between anybody that's on this team. Um, at the end of the day, this is business. Um, you got you to gotta look at it that way. And, you know, he's happy. We're happy. Um, all we got to do is keep moving forward. And the last one for me, we've talked a lot about your relationship with Jerome Tang and getting to know him, but he's built quite the coaching staff here in Manhattan. So um, what what has your relationship been like with those guys? Have you met all of them and, and just kind of share your experience so far with the staff as a whole? Man, the coaching staff is is great. There's it's a bunch of masterminds, it's a bunch of, you know, vets in this field. Um, you got coaches like you know, Coach Sutton, who's we call him Mr. Miyagi because he's – He's a very good trainer. He's a very good mastermind at what he does. Um, then you got guys like Coach Reem, Coach Yorick, who are tremendous recruits. And you got Coach Bourne, who, who, who man, you, you go down the list, man, it's, it's a bunch of great coaches. And, you know, from, from top to bottom, they're all at, adding value in their own way. So I really like them. I really enjoyed it enjoyed on being here. Um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a very good year with them um, coaching us. All right. Thanks for your time, Marquise. Yes, sir. Okay, we'll do one more to Marquise with Ryan, and then we'll uh, move on to Ish. So, go ahead, Ryan. Hey, Marquise. Uh, if you had to pick one, would you say there's one signee coming in for next season that you're most excited for? Um. The most excited signing is probably Naquan, um, who's from New York, who, has a, who came from similar backgrounds, who plays with that passion and, and joy and love for the game that, you know, me and Ish plays with. So that's probably the one where I really want to get on the court and, and play 
alongside of him, and I really want to see how he does. Um, also, Ryan, I heard your, I heard your uh, podcast. I just want to say thank you for giving me some motivation. Thank you um, for saying what you said. Um, I appreciate that. And yeah, just thank you. <laughs>